What is up? Make up my butt. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, 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 mm. Smooth move, X locks. Mm, mm. <sighs> so, my mom, she always used to fall asleep on the couch and she'd be like, <sighs> and I'm like, Mom, why don't you go to bed? And she'd be like, I'm not sleeping, I'm not sleeping. And I'm like, why are you in denial? Why do people do that? I've noticed that it's not just exclusive to her. Everybody does it. And, I'm, and I have to say, I'm probably guilty of doing it myself. You're like, no, I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. Why do people not want to admit that they're sleeping when they're watching TV? I don't understand. It's like she's watching some boring show like Geraldo or something. That's not even on. I don't know. She'll, she'd be watching like Dr. Phil or something and she'd be like, start dozing off because my mom cannot watch TV without falling asleep and then like she'd start snoring and and I'd be like mom wake up and she'd be like I wasn't sleeping and I'm like really mom you weren't sleeping uh what were you doing checking your eyelids for holes what what's going on here and then she'd fall back asleep and then all of a sudden I'd be like and I'd be like mom wake up and she'd be like I wasn't sleeping I wasn't sleeping I'm I'm just resting my eyes you're resting your eyes? Really? Otherwise known as sleeping. That's my little sleeping. Snaggedly doodly. What's up, Mega Muppets? Today, I want to do something for you guys. Very special. Um, I just wanted to put together a very simple kind of uh, makeup 101 makeup for dummies, but I don't want to get sued for copyright infringement, so we'll call it makeup for dumbbells. Bing! Um, I want to put together a very simple kind of formula to put your eyeshadow together every day. Um, and you could use this with any, you know, palette or quad or whatever that you have, or you could grab from all different places in the world. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to just show you guys really quick. There are five colors. I feel like you should definitely have these five tones. These, you know, uh, how do I explain this? Five kind of simple, you know, colors that you that everybody should have this should go into just about every eyeshadow look that you're doing on a daily basis one is our lid shade number two is going to be a matte vanilla this is just being used to help our shadows blend a little easy so you could use a cheap one like this wet and wild and brulee uh, number three is our transition shade uh the transition shade i'll explain to you guys during the tutorial number four is our outer V that's going to be your darkest shade so and then we got our highlight color which is going to go on our brow bone and inner corner if you guys just want to learn my simple eyeshadow formula um stay tuned stay tuned first thing we're gonna need is a primer I like Urban Decay's um, primer potion the best you could use um, many different things you could use a cream shadow you could use your concealer um, I just prefer this so that's what I'm gonna use so we just want to kind of make sure that we really take our time and blend this in anywhere that your eye eyeshadow is going to be applied this is where you want to blend in um, I feel like a lot of people skip this in the tutorials you want to go underneath your inner corner um, it's really gonna make that eyeshadow stay this is basic 101 eyeshadow guys I mean if you could get this formula down you could do your eyeshadow every day using the same steps just different colors so I am going into this Bobbi Brown shade right here this is um, champagne quartz so um, with the flat brush you just want to kind of start dabbing that on your um, lid so we're just going to do the same thing with the other eye, of course, because why wouldn't we? We're just kind of dabbing it on. And then um, this is something I do. I don't know if everybody else does this. I find it makes your eyeshadows blend a little bit better. So I go into a vanilla shade like this, something that matches your skin tone. It doesn't have to be vanilla anything that's kind of close to your skin tone just so that we're laying down kind of a smooth canvas here for us to blend on top of I'm just gonna do the same on this eye of course why wouldn't I 
So the next um, step here, and we're gonna start with our transition shade. A lot of people don't know what the transition shade is. Transition shade means you want it to be a medium tone, you know, something that's not really dark, um, something that's gonna be in between the tone that you're gonna use in your crease and on your outer V there. And then, um, you know, something between there and your lightest point, which is gonna be up here, which is usually a really bright, you know, white or something like champagne or something like that. Um, So I like to use this one. This is kind of like a light brown. Also, this one makes a good transition color as well as this one. So today we're gonna go in here and you want to use you want to use a fluffier kind of crease brush because we don't want this to go on so strong. We're just going to start taking this into our crease. So we're just taking that crease color kind of up into the crease, obviously. This is the brush that came with the full exposure palette. So you kind of want to take this one up a little bit further just um up into the brow bone I have a lot of space over here so for me I'm filling in a lot more you know I know a lot of people their eyebrows probably start around here for me I just have like a very large head I got it from my dad I got it from my dad so then this is what is the key to making your eyeshadow look good um, you want a nice blending brush. Um, for me, this is something that I feel like you do have to buy a quality brush for. Maybe spend a little bit of money. This is the Morphe brushes and I'll try to link it below. Um, I feel like it works just as good as my Sigma brush. So, and blending really just consists of this. This is blending, guys. I, I'm using, you know, back and forth strokes. You could swirl around. I like to go out and up like this, see? Just kind of go back and forth here, like a windshield wiper. Uh, we're on our third color now. This is our third color. I'm just taking another um, smaller blending brush. This is a Sigma E25. I would really suggest this one. I love this one. I'm going to go into my darkest shade, which is going to be this beautiful color right here. It's called Burgundy Shimmer. It's a Morphe brushes color. I got it at the eye mats. It was like 250. This is an amazing eyeshadow for 250. So you just want to pick up a little bit on your brush. When you're in your darker colors, make sure you really tap that brush off. We want to keep this concentrated on the outer portion of our eye and in our crease. Um, so I'm just going to start bringing it in an upward motion here. Very lightly. We're not like just very light strokes. You know, you don't want it like super intense right away. We're going to build up color. We don't want to just right in the face, you know. So I'm just going back now with this eye. And we're just kind of softly going in there. And I usually, you know, wipe with my fingers and, you know, don't be afraid to use your hands because they're great tools. So we're just building it up. I keep going back into the color, you know, just picking up a very little, I'm not like jamming my brush in there. I'm just kind of tapping it in, right? Just like that. Just kind of building that up a little bit. And I like to um, kind of imagine like an invisible line from here going to the kind of end of my eyebrow. And that's where you kind of want to bring it up like that. And that'll kind of lift the eyes and give you that little, you know, sexy cat eye look. So we're just going up and then in a little bit. Um, if you want something more dramatic, you could, you know, you could bring this color in a little bit further. Um, I'm just kind of keeping it on the outside today. Now we're going to go back in with our blending brush and we are going to blend this out. And so you just kind of want to blend back and forth, right? We're not pressing hard. We're just very lightly kind of going back and forth. I'm not bringing it too far because we don't want to drag the color all the way in right now. And then on this side, I'm kind of just blending it up, upwards, towards that line that I told you guys about. So you see I have a little bit of the fallout there. Let's not worry about that. Um, worst comes to worst, you always take a wipe, kind of wipe that away. And that's why I didn't do my concealer yet, um, because that'll kind of clean it up. I'm just going to go back in and just build that um, burgundy shade up just a little bit more. So we're just going to go back in there and we're just going to build the color up a little bit more very lightly and 
just keep diffusing it up and in a little bit. And then once again, just going back and blending. And we're going in an outward motion and kind of like in a windshield wiper motion, concentrating on the outer portions. I'm using just the very kind of tip of the brush right there just to diffuse it. So now I'm going to grab another flat brush just like this. This is Shim Shimma. I have it in this weird thing. These are Makeup Geek eyeshadows. It's just like a white um, kind of frosty shade. A little bit with a little kind of pinkish beige undertone. And I'm just taking this on the brow bone right here. And that's going to like really make it pop. So we're just going back here with this. And then once again, we're going to grab our blending brush and we're just going to blend that out a little bit. So I'm going back into this shade right here, picking up a very little bit and I'm just bringing it on the edge of where that burgundy was just to kind of just make it look a little more soft. Okay. So I'm going back into that transition shade that we used right here, just grabbing a little bit of it on a smaller tipped kind of pencil brush here. So I'm just taking that the under the lash line here. This I find helps if you're going to put um, eyeliner in the waterline. I find that this kind of helps it from bleeding and this is going to smoke out that that burgundy a little bit. Again, being used as a transition shade. So now I'm going to go into the actual burgundy. Again, same brush. And I'm just going to take it in a little bit under the lash line here. I don't take it all the way across. I'm just taking it to like halfway point, kind of tapering it in. Same thing on this side, obviously. And then I'm just gonna grab a smaller kind of pencil brush right here. So I'm just going to take that And then do the same here. We're just diffusing it a little bit. So the next step is going to be our eyeliner, which I feel really polishes off the look. Just taking a small eyeliner brush. I'm just going to use just this one today, which is the L'Oreal um, Lacquer Liner. This is probably one of the best gel liners that I've tried so far. So we're just going into the waterline. You could totally skip this. I know some people don't like putting eyeliner here. If you don't, you obviously don't have to do this part. Um, and you could also use a pencil, obviously. You don't have to use a gel liner just because me, just because I am. This is the hardest part for me to do on camera is <laughs> to do my eyeliner on camera. It's so hard. Um, so now I'm just grabbing this angled, really, really, did I just do that? I did. <laughs> I'm grabbing this angled eyeliner brush, the BK11 from Morphe Brushes, and I'm going back into my lacquer liner. And usually I just kind of take what's on the edge here. And then I always kind of I always kind of clean it off just to make sure there's no like crumbs. So I'm just one line and then I'm going to take another line and just kind of connect them. That, and then we're going to kind of just go back and fill it in. I like wrap my arm around like a contortionist and then I just go back and I kind of fill it in. And you could always um extend it to the for the whole eye on the outer edge and this is going to give you that that cat eye look meow so i'm just going to keep filling that in you know you could go back in and kind of fill that in i have problems with eyeliners bleeding on me so um a lot of the times i will go into a matte black shadow and just kind of set it a little bit so that doesn't really move. I find that this definitely helps with that. 
So I'm just taking an eyelash curler. So I usually like to just clean it off because I don't want to get, you know, yesterday's makeup. So that's why it's always a good idea to have these little ragged eggs there. So I'm just going to go in. I used to be deathly afraid of eyelash curlers. And I don't know why, but I saw this like on Pinterest to like tip it up like this. And it kind of helps. I'm not a big fan of false lashes. Um, I feel like they just look weird on me. So always, if you guys are doing this and you're good at false lashes because I'm horrible with them, um, you know, you could always just put some false lashes. But I'm not going to do that today. We're keeping things simple. This is a better than sex. I get the little sample. It's like, hi, I'm a little baby. I find that it helps if you look down into a mirror while you're doing this. Kind of helps to like blink onto the mascara. I don't like using this one on my bottom lashes. And I'm just going to go back in and do my bottoms. And I'm old school the way I do my lashes on the bottom. So don't play a hate. Anytime I've tried doing it like the other way like this, I like get it all over my face. And we're just doing the same here. Look at that nice black bag under my eye. Sweet. The next step is going to be filling in our eyebrows. I'm using this NYX eyebrow gel. I absolutely love this stuff. You only need such a tiny little bit and it's just amazing. Um, I actually like it more than the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. But anyway, I'm not going to get too into depth with my eyebrows here so you guys can just kind of watch. Um, I am going to maybe do a separate video for that because this is already crazy enough. So you guys can see how I have a little bit of kind of fallout here. Not too much, nothing crazy. I need the um, Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Eraser just to make this quick and show you guys. I'm just going to start kind of drawing this. Kind of like highlighting, contouring, only I'm not contouring. I'm just doing this. So we're just bringing it up. See how I'm not getting all the way up to my eye because you don't want to do that. <laughs> because we're gonna bring it up there when we blend it. So just kind of going like this, drawing these little triangles, kind of about, I don't know, a quarter inch away from it. And then while I'm here, I may as well just highlight over here and here. It looks like a lot. I, my cousin one day was like, sent me this picture and she's like, why does the girl have so much concealer on her face? And I'm like, don't worry, dude, it's gonna get blended out. Your brush is gonna soak up some. You could use a brush. You could use a sponge, you could use a beauty blender, whatever your heart desires. I'm using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just kind of dotting it on, not like very short strokes like that. I mean, this is kind of stuff that you kind of have to practice for a couple of times. And that's how people get good at makeup. Practice makes perfect. I used to kind of just, um, play around with it when I back when I had time and I didn't have a two-year-old and after using that brush I'm just gonna grab a damp beauty blender and just continue to blend that out just to soften it up a little bit because sometimes the brush could leave you a little strokey looking especially when it's dirty sometimes you might get a little bit um you know harsher lines so you might want to go in with a smaller brush here and just kind of blend your bottom lash line here yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is with these weird noises today? Am I like Bob Ross? Um, so I'm just going to take that and then um, I'm going back to my little small Smashbox brush here. And I'm just going to go back into that same color that we used for, um, for our brow bone. I am just going to um, dot some here on the inner corner just to kind of brighten that area up. So we're just brightening that area up a little bit. I forgot. You also want to set that concealer with a loose setting powder. I am using the um, Bye Bye Pores by It's Cosmetics. I love this stuff. And when everything is said and done, I like to just go back one more time, grab a blending brush. I'm not using the same one. And I just like to just give it one more little <whistles> around. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. That's how you do a shit.
Hello! So that's it guys. That is a simple, you know, formula for eyeshadow. Um, very easy. You could use it with any um, eyeshadows that you have. Just remember that you need a light color, a lid color, a kind of transition shade, and a dark shade to shade out your eyes and smoke your lash line out. And that's it. It's that simple. And you could use this formula all the time, every day, or whenever you do your makeup. It's so easy. A caveman could do it. Or a cavewoman. Anyway, I gotta go. So that's it, guys. And I'd like to thank all the little people. Just like my video, subscribe, um, and please leave comments. And if you guys don't like my videos and you're gonna give it a thumbs down, then tell me why you didn't like it. Because I feel like as an artist, um, I went to art school for four years as a graphic artist, and I feel like, you know, criticism is what helps us like improve on ourselves. So if you guys, you know, if you don't like something, then you should let me know why and I'll change it. Maybe you don't like me. Maybe you think I'm stupid. You know, maybe you think I suck at makeup. I don't know what it is. Um, so I would like to improve on myself. So please, if you have negative feedback, leave it below um, and whatever. You know, if you guys are just being haters and talking, whatever. I don't give a. So have a nice day. Ow.